want you to listen very carefully. I wrote here, the human body is composed of living cells. Medical science will tell us the human body is composed of living cells that are now organized into tissues, into organs and systems. This is what medical science tells us, that what you call a human body is a composite of living cells that have been organized into tissues, organs and systems. I did a little study while preparing my notes and I just want to make reference to a little material that I consulted just to help us understand how this works. Because in the name of Jesus, the gates of your destiny must be opened and your life must become a praise to the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in studying, I came across several materials that I consulted and I was just trying to see how many systems are in the human body just as a way of showing uh, and, and of course the references are relative I'm not teaching professionally I'm just trying to communicate a point now watch this I, I read here that the human body has at least nine systems grouped together and I'll run through them for you you may write or you may listen in any case just make sure it enters your spirit are we together now number one here is called the integumentary system that composes of the skin and associate structures and the assignment is to protect the body from harmful microorganisms that means the integumentary system that is composed of the skin your skin as you know so that is a system do you know that there are people who are alive and you've seen them with skin infections is that a good sight to behold? Are we together? I have prayed for many people who have had acute breakouts of boils or some kind of skin infection, you know, maybe eczema, whatever it is. And sometimes you see lovely people, but that is not a good sight simply because one system was faulty. Can I continue? Number two, here is the musculoskeletal system, or you can call it your skeletal system mixed made up of your muscles and your skeletal system. Consult the doctors if you are in any. I'm not here to spell, I'm here to teach. Just get what I'm telling you. Praise the name of the Lord. The musculoskeletal system, watch this now. Other references will say the muscular system and then the skeletal system. It's written here that it's composed of the skeletal muscles and for an adult, we are told that there are about 206 of them. You must listen in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that the assignment, watch this now, don't be distracted. The assignment is to move the body and to protect the, the, the internal organs. Imagine your organs without the bones and the skeletal system. Some of us are learning now for free. That these bones that you have looked down on, when the Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is broken, it is because it has the assignment to protect you. Are we together now? That is just two out of nine. Are you ready for number three? The respiratory system is composed of the breathing passages, lungs, muscles for respiration. It obtains air and the oxygen necessary for cellular metabolism is written here. Now, the respiratory system, this is one system alone. Do you know you can isolate the respiratory system and by focusing on it, it looks like no other system is useful again. Because if you stop breathing, you will die. But there is a way to die while you are still breathing. Am I right on that? Mm -hmm. Number four, this is koinonia. Number four, are you ready? Thank you. Let's pay attention. The circulatory system, the circulatory system composed of the heart, the blood, the blood vessels, and it circulates a transport fluid throughout the body. So it's responsible for circulating blood, oxygen, and you know, whatever is needed, the circulatory system. There are people who are alive, but the moment this system is found wanting, 
Number one, the kind of money you will pay to correct this condition. You are still breathing and yet your entire life's earning can be invested to correct this with no 100% guarantee. The circulatory system. Can I give you number five? The digestive system. My medic, is that medical people or koinonia people? Thank you. God bless you. Even if I don't score A, I will not score F. I reject F in the name of Jesus. The digestive system, are we together? Composed of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, intestines, and it breaks down food into usable substances which are then absorbed from the blood or the lymph. This is what is written here. Are you seeing that now? How many people have gone to the hospital simply because something was wrong with their digestive system? Are they dead? No. Are they breathing? Yes. Can they hear? But they are still not all right. And they were, they were so not all right, they had to leave their house to the hospital. Are we together now? Ask the doctors. The hospital is broken into many, many sections that are dealing with many, many parts of the human body. You would think the hospital would just have a, an ICU and then a, a labor ward and that's all. But there are many other parts dealing with the human body. Look at the expensive machines that we invent simply because we are hoping that with advancement in technology we will rescue just one part of the human system. What makes you believe that by ignoring a particular dimension in the spirit you will have wholesome victory? I'm helping you using biology to understand what you may have been missing. So for some of us, maybe from the day you got born again, that spiritual digestive system has not even been working. Hmm. Number six, the excretory system. Excretory system composed of the kidneys. Remember kidneys. Ureters, urinary bladder, and all of that, it removes toxic nitrogen compounds and other wastes from the blood. Look up, please. Have you seen a patient crying to raise money for kidney transplant? Do you know how much it is? I'm not a medical doctor, but you go to a medical stand, they will tell you. It is not, maybe in Nigeria, Naira should be within the range of maybe 7 to about 12 or 15 million Naira just for a kidney transplant. That is when you do find a donor and then it does not come with a 100% guarantee. The assignment of the excretory system is to remove wastes. To remove wastes from your body. There are people who have died simply because their kidneys packed up and every other thing related to that system. Number seven, the nervous system. The nervous system composed of the sensory organs, the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. And here's what it does. It transmits, integrates, and analyzes sensory information. And it carries impulses to effect the appropriate muscular or glandular responses in the body. This is what... I'm reading, I didn't write this. <laughs> Credit to medical science. Are we together now? Nervous system. How many people look at you and say, who are you? And you are saying, me, your friend. They are alive, but something has happened. No coordination again. Are we still here? brain damage, spinal cord issues. I have prayed for many, many people, and I say this without exaggeration, many, many people who, who have, have literally been grounded and left for dead because something happened to their spine and there was a complete damage, completely. Number eight, it's written here, the endocrine system. The endocrine system is composed of the hormone secreting glands and tissues that provide chemical communication, 
network for coordinating various body processes. For instance, hunger, the impulses of hunger, the impulses of stress and all of that. Did you know that if you do not have that endocrine system, you will not even know if you were hungry, you will not even know if you were satisfied, what of, you know, several other things. As, as minute as these things are, they add to the human being you see standing. Nine, the reproductive system. We are struggling today counting how many people are on earth because of this one system. The efficiency of this one system, look what it has done. If you are with me, say amen. amen. So, I just, I just did a, a bit of, of, of biology just to help you understand. This reference here allows for about nine, nine of the systems that make up the human body. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have family doctors and what you call a medical checkup, when the doctor comes, he checks you against these things. Am I right on that? There are others that will require you going to the hospital. You have all kinds of advanced tests to ascertain the health of these systems. When a doctor says you are healthy, what he's saying is that you largely have been examined across these systems and you've, your body has been found to be functioning well or within the range that they define as healthy. Am I right on that? Now you understand Romans 1.20 that the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen and being understood by the things which are made. Please look up. I hope you know that no man assisted God in the building of man. It was exclusively a product of his intelligence. That means anything that wants to become an organism must subscribe to the same law he used to build the body. No wonder the church is called the body of Christ. Are we together now? Now, I want you to think with me for a moment that all the truths that we know or should know are responsible for making the various spiritual systems that make up our lives work. For instance, understanding the laws of prosperity and the economic system of the kingdom. You can liken it to any of these nine systems. You can be healthy and strong. You can be a missionary with character, love God, and yet that part of your life fails and it can cripple your life and push you to the corridors of compromise. Are we together now? Yes. So in contending for the victorious life, it is very, very important that we make reference to the human body and see how God meticulously worked out systems that the skeletal system alone has about 206 bones, the skeletal structure that make an adult. If God went that far, now do you notice something from this description that all the systems, although they are powerful, they do not all carry equal value. Is that true? Some systems and organs are more delicate than others. That means in order of priority, the doctor or the consultant will pay attention to seeing to the health of a particular organ even before the other. I'm aware that there are doctors who may have a patient that requires multiple treatment and professionally they have have been taught to focus on the vital organs that keep the person alive sometimes they may have to dress the person he will go and heal for months then return back am i right on that to carry out the other procedures this is listen biology should help us understand the ways of god show me a man who has promoted his digestive system alone and is alive and strong Show me a man who has promoted his respiratory system alone and downplayed digestion and downplayed his neurological system. But why do we now do this in the body of Christ? Why do we now do this spiritually? I choose prosperity alone. Anything that has to do with prayer, I'm not interested. Or I am a prayer man, I'm a deliverance man. Anything that has to do with impartation of wisdom is unnecessary. That deception I'm announcing to you, is it comes from the pit of hell. And it is the reason why there is no wholesome victory in the life of believers. Hallelujah. So many of us right now are likened to patients who can be healthy 
and yet there's something that is wrong and God desires to bring wholesome victory wholesome victory in our lives wholesome victory in our lives that you can be like someone who is so healthy and vibrant while we were in the United Kingdom having the conference one of the testifiers a dear woman and when she stood to testify she said she was 65 years and when I looked at that woman if you were told she were 35 probably she's even following now 65 years alive agile I've seen people who you have a, a daddy that your new Bogu who comes here now I think this year he'll be 86 and yet he comes strong moving by himself only once or so or never gone to a hospital and his wife who is 10 years younger 75 when I go for programs in the East they show up together healthy and alive yet there's another person 31 and you have to be told that this person is not that old I'm not being sarcastic I'm just saying whether you look young or look old it's not God's fault is something you allow to happen to you is that true right now there is a heightened awareness the wellness industry is programming you know and pushing organic living there are many of you that's your business line you can tell us how to be healthy how to be strong that is the same thing I'm doing what you are doing biologically now is what I'm doing I'm I'm saying that there is a problem who knew before that there are certain foods that when you eat could accelerate your death rate am I right on that spiritually there are certain revelations that if you receive or don't live alone they will fast track your defeat it is true there are things about God there are things about Satan there are things about life that must come under divine scrutiny so that there be an editing but I love the person who taught me that's not the issue even if it was Joshua Selman who taught you let God be true and let every man a liar be a liar our loyalty to things that are maybe lesser truths or truths that are isolated or you know information that is not even truth we hold on to it this is all I've known and yet God is asking you tonight do you desire your tomorrow greater than your today then you must be willing to relinquish certain things when I receive advices from you know medical people and I, I have so many of them around my life they can advise and say listen take water do this do that do that that's the advice and sometimes how many of you know that you can see something you used to like or you still like and painfully so you remember the instruction that came from the consultant and you are there salivating hoping for a chance and you are saying I mean why did I meet this doctor to advise me I would have remained but you have a choice you can eat it and die or you can trust God for grace and leave it and then you leave ladies and gentlemen please hear me I'm pointing something powerful for you tonight that I'm hoping you understand Apostle I saw my father love the Lord he served the Lord with all his heart but we had to go and eat in the house of certain neighbors what kind of God is that uh, 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 let me answer you now that is not a reflection of what God can do it is a reflection of the human body again and the inability to contend for wholesome health are we together now that every time we allow a dimension of our body to not move forward uh, the template we give the world can misrepresent God so if you have to learn God only from the lens of that missionary what kind of God is this that has a missionary loving him with all his heart serving him with all his heart and yet the school fees of the children cannot be paid every time they are sending them back home and then they come and they are praying oh God will you not answer us and yet there is an unbeliever giving scholarships to people under the same heaven what kind of a God is that it is not a description of God it is a description of your state hallelujah so for instance there are believers who are always praying always praying always you know casting out binding something and I'm not a, I minister deliverance here you see but that's all they know they will never sit down to learn the ways of God 
and the devil has seen that there is a big gap there are other aspects of their Christian life that has not been brought together and so he keeps manipulating them and demons keep playing games around their destiny and for a long time after 10 years they are still doing the same thing and not moving forward